Hey guys, welcome back. This is the part five or our, our frequently asked Ruby on Rails question series. So let's start with this video, and here you will find ten more questions. How many gems for the admin backend have you used? Which gem is better, and why? Uh, this question depends upon uh, the uses of the gems which provide the admin functionality, just like Active Admin, Rails Admin. If you have used them, you can answer. If you have not used them, you can clearly say that no, we haven't used that. But uh, better if you can explore Active Admin and Rails Admin gems. However, Active Admin gem is more popular gem and more preferable gem for uh, implementing the admin backend functionalities in a Rails application. You are asked to implement an admin backend for a web application. What solution will you propose? any gem or custom admin parent also explain the reason so this is a scenario based question which you might be asked to for example if you have uh, three to four years of experience and you have been uh, then in that experience you might have worked on application where you have implemented a, a, either a custom admin panel or if you have implemented a active admin gem for example then you can answer that this question properly uh, but uh, and uh, all the solution what you will propose okay so most of the times uh, uh, few developer says that active admin is better gem because it does a lot of functionalities in built and uh, it also minimizes development effort but uh, sometimes uh, implementing the custom admin panels are more better than using a gem so depending upon the scenario and uh, based upon your experience you can answer this question and this will uh, definitely help you what are the difference between save and save node okay so save method is used for saving an active record instance so when you use save and if there are any validation failed then you will not get an error but save with bank operator will produce an error and or an exception uh, when any validation failed while saving the record now how can you pass param to a mailer actions okay so in the last video we discussed about a question that where that how you can pass arguments to a action mailer action okay but passing params to a mailer action is different you can pass it using with option and for more detail you can refer the action action mailer guide of the rails guide and where you can find the reason and you must have idea about that if you have ever worked on the action mailer is it possible to replace the schema.rb file in rails if yes how can you do this uh, this question might be asked to you uh, if you are an experienced developer for example let's say two three years of experience developer because uh, by default whenever you uh, create a, a database in your rails application uh, the schema.rb is generated but there is one more format that uh, generated in .sql format and you have to change that configuration in your application.rb and then you can uh, change your schema.rb to structure.sql and uh, there you can save your tables and you can see the schema reflection in your uh, structure.sql file and you can do this using some config in application.rb what is action cable and just explain this so action cable is used for real time communication and it is used for web sockets in rails and it is introduced since rails 5.1 and once you explore this you can get more better idea about action action cable and this is mainly used for live streaming uh, just like uh, real time chats and uh, displaying notification and uh, uh, some conversions okay how can you implement user authentication using device and JWT? Explain the process of it. So just try to implement device gem with JWT token and this is mainly used in the Rails APIs to implement authentication. How many form helpers are provided by Rails? Tell the names and differences between them. So Rails provide a variety of form helpers like form tag, form with and form for for implementing form in rails and depending upon the rails version they are changed and you can explain them by uh, preparing more on it and you can just dive into deep for knowing about uh, the rails form helpers and you can find it on action form helpers guide 
what is the difference between delete and destroy in rails so both delete and destroy are used to delete an active record instance but delete does not instantiate the record but destroy instantiate and delete is faster than destroy how do you organize your controllers tell me about the way that you can make a controller thin writing a controller is a good skill but writing a thin controller is a best skill because uh, uh, it ideally it is preferable that whenever you write your controllers it should be thin and it should have dry code as much as possible so if you are experienced developer then you might be asked this question that how you can write better controllers and you, how you can write thin controllers because uh, sometimes the client or some companies are rigid about uh, uh, writing the standard codes and the thin controller codes so you must have idea about that so that's all from this video in another video we will uh, see another 10 questions okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next video till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe and subscribe the channel for more